at myhome.com, exploring smart home technology. We're here in the quick set booth. And uh, for all of you that have gone to at myhome.com and read a review of the Kiko door lock, of course, they're showing them here. Not a lot has changed. They have the standard door locks that you can touch open. But this other one here, you'll notice it's kind of a strange looking uh, deadbolt. And basically, if I turn this around here, that goes around. That's the electronics that's in our Kiva home homeowner box. But the piece you saw in the front was a standard deadbolt. So what they've done for people that can't change the, their door locks exterior wise, like for example, if you have a homeowner association that doesn't allow it, you can actually pair the back with the front of the door lock. You can't touch it open, but you can open it with your smartphone. So that's pretty cool. And if you've got a quick set to Kivo Gateway, you could also then open it through that gateway. But the thing that's interesting in the booth here is they have a new line of products for Quick Set where they now have the ability to talk to HomeKit. So if you look at their products over here, as you can see, it's Apple HomeKit available. So that means that if you've got an Apple TV and you want to lock and unlock your home from the remote, You'll be able to do that through Siri. You just tell Siri to open and, lock, uh, open and close the door. Uh, you want to open the door if you're standing outside, you can bring out your phone and open the door as well. It's not a touch to open like what Kivo is, but it brings a second interface for people to use that really want to get into Apple Home Kit. So that's where we are with uh, QuickSet, with their door locks. This is Mark at AppleHome.com, exploring smart home technology.